Alright, how's everyone doing today? Let's see, we got uh, Epic Rider claiming first. I'm not too surprised on that. Jack plays stuff. Sleeveless even in the chat. I guess you're at work sleeveless, aren't you? Well, I'm probably not going to get a response for that for a little bit. Oh, something I just forgot. I need my track IR. Let's put that on. Acro Nerd, how you doing? Welcome on in. They were taking the uh, Black Square Analog Baron out up to Midway. First, we're going to make a stop in uh, Indianapolis here. If you guys don't know the flight plan, this is it right there. We're going up to, to Midway for flying Thursday. You know, it should be pretty fun. You know, Midway is usually crazy. Or Chicago in general is crazy. Trucking in American Truck Sim. 49X while watching it. 49, I'm not even sure what 49X means. Met a work. My hands were balls deep on a dashboard. Hmm. Dang. Well, anyways, uh, let's see this. We've got two different legs plugged into the whole flight plan here. I just combined the two. In our first one, we're going to be radar vectors to the Louisville VOR. And then on up, uh, Victor 53. Which you have to be above 10,000 feet right here. And the minimum safe is 3,000, but the 10,000 is, I think, because of the range of the particular VORs here. Let's see, this way. Doesn't really say anything. There is 2,700 right there. So this is, that's slightly weird, but okay. And also, these radials aren't direct because they don't want you going through this uh, restricted area. Hmm. Alright, we're back. Yeah, they, they also don't want you going through like the middle of this MOA, but I guess the side is fine. Although, if there was, tr if there was, you know, military actually operating, they'd probably, like, vector you around or something. Because they want to keep IF aircraft out of that kind of place. Let's see here. Then, after we land in Indianapolis, we go take off again. We'll go from Brickyard. Up to uh, Victor 399. That splits off from Victor 24. Take that up to Boiler. And then uh, that stays on Victor. I guess it doesn't really know. It's one of three. Probably Victor 51, I guess. Yeah, but from there we'll take that up to Chicago Heights. And then from there it's Raider Vectors to Midway, probably on an ILS or something. We'll see how that all works. Anyways, in terms of the weather, you know, you always gotta do you know, a whole weather check before you get up and fly. You, know, you, you wanna brief yourself so you're not just gonna hit something unexpected. Looks like we'll have a little bit of weather on the way up there. Currently a little bit of weather in Louisville, some clouds around Bloomington, and, and this whole highway here. I think that's I-65, if I remember right. And then on up to Indianapolis, where there's also more clouds. And as we go up towards Chicago, there's a little bit of rain, a little bit of cl or a bunch of clouds, actually. The lighter color, I'm pretty sure, means thicker clouds. And then blue, of course, is rain. Then we can look at general clouds and, and precipitation here. So there's not that much rain up by Chicago. There's just barely any. But there is half decent amount of clouds. Yeah, around the Gary and 
What is that? Naki and wherever else if I were to zoom in. So we'll see if we run into too many clouds. Can also look up the weather info here at Louisville, like specifically. We've got reported few at 2,500, broken at 4,300 feet. Overcast at 12. Great, that's right where I was wanting to cruise at. 12,000 feet. I can do 10, but I'd rather do 12. Because 10 is the minimum for the airway. And then there's currently no ATC on out of Louisville, but there is up in Chicago. Hydrate, alright. Luckily, I just went and got water. So that's some good stuff. Also, this guy looks like he's flying into Louisville here soon. We might even get to talk to him. Although, he'll probably be on the other runway. Hopefully, Kansas City will be on? Maybe. Alright, let's get this plane started. Or Minneapolis. There's a few pilot cup people that plan on flying out of the Minneapolis area. Alright, mixture forward, prop forward. That one forward. Got beacon nav light on, batteries on. Uh, the cow flaps are open both sides. I don't know why they always have the fuel selectors turned on by default, but they do. It's slightly annoying. Also, I think the sim sound is muted. No, it's not. It's just not that loud. You went somewhere in, in a vision jet? Nice. Yeah, I know Surge, he's one of the ones that are going to be flying out. Alternator 1 and 2 turned on. We'll get a fuel pump going. Count to 3. 1, 2, 3. And then from there, the throttle is just up a little bit. And then we can start the right engine. That is started, I think. You know, because of these engines just sounding cool, we're going to crank up the sim sound a little bit. All right, then that's kind of warmed up a little bit. We'll bring this down to half. It's probably not warmed up actually that much, but it's something. Now we'll make sure the RPM is over a thousand so the battery gets charged. I don't know, how old are you? You're on flight sim. More than anybody I know, like, no response. Bro, he's like 13 or 14, maybe. Alright, we'll go... Prime the other one. One, two, three. And then the throttle comes down, you bring it up just a little bit. Start it, and it starts spinning. And then started. Now I'll bring the throttle up so it gets up to a thousand RPM. Bring the mixture back so it's not fouling the spark plugs too much. Get all the other lights on now that everything's going. All the avionics. That can actually, actually we'll keep that on standby. We'll tune to 122.8 since there is no ATC. We'll just have that sitting there. Get on to do some air this morning and do was on. I was like, God damn. Wait, what? Oh, you're talking about uh, Ryder there? Let's see. I'm a prop. So they would give us 3,000 out of here. And actually, speaking of that, we need to file a flight plan. And connect. I haven't done either one. Our Baron, hit connect, flight plan, IFR. Because of the weather, I'm gonna go IFR. 14 just turned it. I'm only a child, so I have a lot of time. Don't fly in the morning that much. Fly a lot of flights at once. Wait, at once, also it's summer. Yep, it is summer. Even for me, I'm in college. It's summer. <laughs> So we're flying out of KSDF. 
to Indianapolis. Departure time of about 23.25 or so. We'll give ourselves 10 minutes, 10 more minutes to get out of here. And then time en route. Uh, this should be about an hour for this leg, I think. Maybe a little faster, actually. Cruise speed, this thing goes about 180. We're going up to 12,000. We are slant alpha. And then it's... IU Victor 5-3 to Brickyard, BHP. We'll plug in the mention to the pilot club here. There it is. Got that filed. Uh, we'll come over here to the transponder. No ATC is on, so we'll squawk 2000 since we're IFR. I know it's kind of one of those VATSIM things. Uh, what else do I gotta do? Oh yeah, we need to plug in some frequencies for some VOR, so let's look those up. Actually, we'll even do it over here on the tablet instead of Sky Vector. So let's see here, the Louisville VOR we're going to use first, 114.8. Actually, I'll kind of move the camera over here so you can see it. The 114.8, put that in primary. And then we have Brickyard up here by um, Indianapolis, 116.3. Have that stand by there. And then also have it in primary on this one. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the route here. Go back September 5th? Dang. Alright, so we have all that. If we go to the Victor Low charts, uh, we fly outbound on the 332 radial. So we'll come over to uh, here. And we'll put in 332. 35 left. Oh yeah, that is correct. I didn't even look at what runway we were supposed to use. Yeah, three fives would be right. So we'll have we'll be going out to three five right. So that means off of the runway, we'll be flying a heading of three five zero. That's runway heading. And then let's see what's inbound to Brickyard. We've got one six nine. Now, is that inbound? I think it is. I think. We'll figure it out when we get there. We'll see if it shows a two flag or not. Okay, one seven zero and then minus one six nine. Nice. Uh, we'll come over here. Just go ahead and turn on the heading part of that. I think we are set up. Go ahead and preset that for the climb out. And we'll arm it. Yeah, I think we're set. So let's go. Parking brake is off, and then we'll make a right turn out of here. We'll set flaps of one. And mobile traffic, pilot cup 341 is uh, Beastcraft Baron. Taxiing from Atlantic down to runway uh, 35 right uh, via Echo, uh, mobile traffic. Now we'll probably take an intersection. We don't need to. We don't need a super long runway or anything. 
Oh, I probably should have checked if there was ATC. There is not. That that should have been like a check just before I taxied. And now there is the seven four that's coming in here soon. Plus, I don't want to have the engines too low on RPM for too long, or else they'll cut out on their own. So, you know, I should, Golf should be enough to runway to use. So we'll just take Golf. Bought the Bonanza, it's good, but uh, what I preferred, the Baron. You know what's good? You know, you didn't buy the, the pack, obviously, that has the, both of them. But you should have... Well, actually, wait, what website did you buy it on, Sleeveless? Because I bought mine on Just Flight, I think? And if you buy one of them, they give you a discount code to buy the other one. And it's basically the same price as buying the bundle if you use the discount code. Oh, you looked at it. Okay. And we'll go ahead and get our landing lights and strobes on. And Louisville Traffic Baron, or uh, Pilot Cub Tree 41, taking off from way Tree 5 right at Golf, will be off out of the north. Louisville Traffic. I couldn't even hear him there, he's too far out now. Here we go. This one is not the turbocharged version. Gear up. And then we'll turn back down the audio. I almost bought the bundle, sat there for 20 minutes and talked myself out of it. Bro, that's what I do for half of these planes. And we got flaps up. Why? The, it just cleared my thing. There we go. I should be good now. We've got heading mode in, we've got that. And mobile traffic pilot up tree 41 bearing clear runway tree 5 right. Pick an I4 departure to the north. Last call, Louisville. Alright, so we'll go ahead. And uh, although ATC is not on right now, they would have given us a 010 heading most likely. Or runway heading, I don't really know which. It would have been up to the controller, really. We'll close the cow flaps. Taxi lights off. And then we're climbing on out. We're up to 3,000, although now we'll go up to 12. There we go. We'll just go back to the DC-6 and ATR no matter what. But the Blackbird Milviz PC6 as well, haven't used it yet. Well, I mean, I don't even have the PC6. I wonder if I can see that UPS guy back here. No, there's too many clouds. He's back that way a little ways. Must be like a quarry or something right there they're doing. Hmm. Just like humans removing stone. Alright, so we'll need to intercept this uh, radio here momentarily. 
Oh, and it looks like we have a from flag, so I'm gonna need to flip that 180 degrees on the other nav unit. We'll see how that goes. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and arm nav mode. It should be turning here momentarily. Oh, now it's just gonna turn into it. All right, that's whatever. We're looking forward to the Dash 7 from Simworks. Sneak suspicion it's releasing this weekend. Yeah, I have the RV-14, which I'm pretty sure they made, they made, and I wasn't too impressed with it, I'm gonna be honest. Definitely some things I would have done differently. All right, we'll need to start cranking up the heat here in a second. Because uh, it's gonna start getting colder. It'll drop, I think it's a degree or two every thousand feet you go up. Uh, couldn't even hear him. The Kodiak. Oh, is that the people that made the Kodiak? I mean, they did good with the Kodiak. But if it's the same people that made the RV-14, it wouldn't... It, it wasn't too crazy. Alright, so we do need to start pulling back the power and stuff. Should, probably should have done that a second ago. You know, just to not over stress the engine or anything. Get prop sync on. Now the plane's still on nav mode. It should be just about to start turning into the uh, the radio there. Mercedes, who made the Kodiak and Powitz are the one that did the B314 Clipper. I don't even know what that is. I don't think I've heard of that one. Gotta climb a little faster. Alright, if I just watch over here on uh, my temperatures, and start pulling back the mixture to try and get the best power out of it. Probably around there for now. Massive boat plane? Alright. Oh, I just realized it's not... Did I program it all wrong? 114.8 332 outbound Oh, yes, I did do it wrong Whoops I'm over here, do heading mode I put the wrong radial in and out of the other one, it's going to be the same thing, so we're going to need to... Looks like about 9 degrees will be it. Because we need a 2 flag there, not the from. And then whenever we get to where this... Is the, uh, is direct to that VOR, then we'll turn. Go ahead and turn on, uh, the weather radar, because I don't know where all the weather is going to be. There's already a lot of people on their way into Midway. Look at all this. A lot of lines being drawn to there. Got 300, six, 300 Lima from Austin. Palak up 510, of course, doing whatever the hell he's doing. Palak up 36, doing his thing out of Lincoln Municipal. A couple people out of uh, Minneapolis, St. Paul. Couple people coming out of Toronto Pearson. Well, just one. One coming out of Rochester. 
Isn't that like Connor's home airport or am I wrong? I'm thinking of someone else. Of course, Prime 4211 wanted to land a heavy at Midway. I don't think that's supposed to be a thing. One of the Sky Blue Radio guys, of course. Southwest 3069. Of course, he's got 69 in his flight number. Oh, there's Chris Mickle, United 420, doing his thing. It is your home airport? Oh, nice. All right, we are 2,000 feet from top of climb. I think I'll need to let off the climb rate a little bit, though. The speed keeps dropping. Up oh, nav mode. I forgot to hit the thing again. You can still see the Ohio River back behind us. Haven't gotten too far. Probably totally could have done this VFR, but then I don't know what all the weather right there is going to cause when I get close to it. Probably going to have to go right through it. And clouds are not a VFR man's best friend. It's quite the opposite. And look at how you doing. Welcome on in. We're flying a bit of uh, steam gauge here, a little bit of analogness. Let me make sure that radial is right, is it? 169. And you know, you add 180 or whatever for the inbound. Yeah, that, that's about right. Been flying the analog caravan for on air? Nice. I never really wanted to get the analog caravan, to be honest. I mean, the King Air, I'd probably be more likely to get. I've got the, the Baron and the. The Bonanza, and they've been pretty good. Especially the Turbo Baron, bro. They they made that sound so great. But this one's not the Turbo today. Another one, yes. Sent you a YouTube clip. All right. Oh, of that plane. Hmm. It looks kind of like, um, what do you call it? That one wooden boat plane that's in the sim by default now. It's got what, like eight engines or something? Except the internals of that one looks a bit more fancy. Spruce Goose? Yeah, that. That's it, yeah. Oh, and that guy that was, uh... The UPS- Oh, it's Paul Williams! I just realized that. He put a- he put a message over in, um... The ZID Discord. Great movie, by the way. What, about the Spruce Goose? Thought the Baron is a turboprop? No, it's not. A Baron is a normal piston-driven engine. But, there is a version of it you can get that has uh, a turbo in it. That's not necessarily a turboprop, just means it has a turbocharger in it. Let me pull back the mixture even more here. Why are both my engines so far off from each other on the temperatures? What am I doing wrong? RPM looks about the same on both. Um, maybe manifold pressure is a tiny bit. Or no, fuel flow is higher on one of them. For some reason. Yeah, that doesn't make sense to me. Why it's different like that.
Is there any like failures or anything? Engine condition is 100% on both. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing wrong with that. The fuel is good on both. The engines on the BKSQ stuff are not equal. So you made it different mixtures for both. Ah, yeah, that's probably it. Yeah. So I'll just adjust one at a time, see what happens here. I guess one will produce more power than the other. Which is a little weird. I mean, I could bring back the power on the right one. See if that helps at all. So I gotta... Over here. Getting a little warm in here. Remember, they went pretty deep on the sim. Yeah, I didn't realize that they actually did that, though. I know if you get, if you, like, forget to... To, um... To bring the mixture down on taxi every time, then you know your engine gets damaged pretty quick. Yeah, I know, I know they did a lot. I just didn't realize that was it, or that was one of the things. All right, so coming up here in a little bit, we should be going towards brickyard. Just realized I, I forgot I was deafened in here. Even Jefferson's here, but he's deafened. What's he up to? Is he is he talking to like Cleveland or something? And yeah, they are online. So how many miles do we have? Let's see here. So we're 48 miles away. Uh, that changeover point. I guess it doesn't actually tell you. Well, apparently it's whenever the other one is 47 miles away. So we do have a little bit on that. And then it's 110 from the other way, apparently. That doesn't make sense. Or maybe that's the full airway. Do you really give me an engine lesson? Wait, what? It's about giving you an engine lesson. Or maybe we have to do 110 and then minus 47, which is 63. So once this gets to 63, then we'll turn towards the other VOR. Damn it. Turbo props and props that are turboed. Well, kind of. <laughs> It, it took you a minute to come and respond to that. I mean, I guess you're still working. You know, I'm going to go ahead and also plug in the uh, information for Indy here. We've got altimeter 2, 9, or 9, or 4. Shouldn't be too much different. Maybe like 0.1 up or something. And then top of descent will be when. Actually, wait, what uh, runway are we using? Zero seven zero at one zero, so we'll use five left. Actually, we'll go ahead and get the ILS here. Plug all that in. So five left, a one one oh one a point seven five. We'll put that in standby over here.
And that's really all I can do for now. Uh, we do need to center up the heading bug to our current heading. Everyone seems to be deaf end right now. Got another pilot club coming out of... Or no. No, 9 Charlie Whiskey, I think, was added to St. Paul. At work, I was texting the wife. Didn't know, didn't think you know what I do for a living. Uh, you work on, like, engines or something, right? Or, no, I'm thinking of maybe I'm thinking of someone else, but I think you do. Or cars, at least, or vehicles. Probably vehicles. That that's a good wide term to use since I don't really know. And then 686 is going out here. I bet he's gonna go back to Midway. Wait, he landed a 1 to 52 at Oshkosh? Alright. He's kind of doing his thing there. Alright, so we're almost to that. What, what did I say? 67 miles? Or really, it's whenever this is centered. It's like a combination of both. I'll go ahead and hit the heading mode since we only have a few miles. I'll come over here, switch that over. Move that to where it's supposed to be, about right there. Emergency in Detroit? I am not surprised, bro. Who is it? Is it the 402? Is it Southwest? Is it uh, the 12 guy? Some guy with an ATP? Oh yeah, so that's probably 402. Diesel mechanic, I knew exactly what you meant. Of course not, the Baron was a turbine engine propeller driven aircraft. Happy I didn't buy it. I'm well aware of the difference between a forced induced piston engine. I assume you ran out of characters to type there. Up, oh, we'll go ahead and hit. I passed it up actually. But I'm hitting nav for the plane to turn. Uh, we'll go switch over to the ILS here and also plug it in on the frequency up top. On 1175. The approach course is 050. Something like that. And then we'll line up the heading bug. I should probably go ahead and descend. Actually, how far do I have? About 34 miles. Uh, 12,000 feet. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and descend a little bit. We're, we'll go down to six. Because technically that's what they would give me, although we're on the arriving side of the airport, so they might just give us straight down to three. But, you know, six is a good number. We'll just start our descent here. I'm going to see if I can run Blender on your laptop? For what reason? Any specific reason?
couple TPC liveries. Oh, all right. Okay. I need to look up how to do liveries at some point. I've been meaning to do it and I just forgot. Bro, we didn't even stay at cruise for that long. <laughs> but, you know, because of the airway, I kind of had to climb up. Our speed is increasing. I'm not too surprised on that. We'll pull back the power a little bit. Bring the mixture up because we are descending. Am I missing anything over here? No, oh, no. I don't know why I was thinking I had tip tanks in this one, but I don't. And those switches would have been over here. Question is, am I descending fast enough? I don't exactly feel like doing the math for it. Apparently we're picking up the IRS now. Although, that's a little far out. Did they list the Morse code up here? For it? Yeah, right there. I'm gonna try and listen to that. Hopefully I can hear it. I think I can. Wait, I'm gonna check audio settings here for a second. Cockpit. Maybe I wanna turn that up a bit more. I can try and hear stuff. I'm not hearing anything. We should be on one 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 seven five. Yep, right there. Yeah, it's just it's just not working right now. So where should we start kind of vectoring ourselves for? I'm going to go down to uh, 3,000 to go and try and vector myself to just before stadium. So we'll change this to 3 instead of 6. And then I'm going to vector myself to around football. So let's get a little bit of a turn going for like 330, maybe that'll work. Yeah, I think I do need to start descending a little quicker.
so we have is that 4,000 feet to go my math is right I might end up a little bit high on this so we're gonna pull back the power a bit send even a little faster maybe turn ourselves 10 degrees more outwards like that is, uh, is that the airport no that's not it airports a little further out there through the clouds We're working on it though at least this far out we can be like 4,000 feet Actually, we're probably fine. And since we're off of that uh, VOR, I need to go plug this in. The zero five zero. Oh, but now we're we have the glide slope. I mean, we're above it, but we're showing it. So that tells me I could probably go ahead and uh, turn in a bit, actually. Actually, I see someone over there. There's someone on final. Yep. Indianapolis traffic, uh, pilot cup tree 41 is a baron on the right base with Alice, runway 5, left, full stop, Indianapolis. Let's see if he says anything. I'm basically gonna go full mixture at this point. I'm looking at Vector and us right around to uh, football. Let's see, minimums, we have 500 feet, a, no, 473 AGL. So we'll come over here, you know, put it even just a little high. Something like that should work. We have less than a thousand feet to go. So I'm going to go ahead and turn us in for the uh, 30 degree intercept, which will be zero Two is zero. That should do us fine, I think. Hopefully I didn't turn it too early. But we should be fine. There's the airport. In sight. We'll, we'll probably do a long landing though, so we don't have to um, taxi as far to get over the FBO. nav mode it'll start turning towards the localizer maybe I hit it a little late I might have anyways I'm gonna go ahead and get gear down and we are in flaps range for not to flaps Indianapolis traffic pilot up tree 41 is a baron on a final from way five a left Indianapolis traffic nice plane yeah it is Oh wait, crap, I forgot to arm approach mode. It should be able to catch up to the uh, glide slope, I think. Pretty sure it's able to do that. 
We'll uh, set the heading bug. And actually, what's missed approach? Not that we need it because we can see the airport. I mean, left turn, 300 direct brickyard. All right, so I'll go ahead and just set the heading bug for, you know, about 330 or something. Not that we really need it. Forgot to press approach way too many times. Bro, I had a guy last night when I was doing the ATC. I forgot to do it twice. How you doing, Sky? Welcome on in. And yeah, we'll get full flaps. Indianapolis traffic, pilot up tree 41, five mile final runway five. The left will be a long landing, a full stop. Indianapolis traffic. Oh, don't get too slow. to do turn off that get a bit of turbulence here too all right I should probably start flying the plane especially because it will do a long landing Exit at the end of the runway. Just keeping the plane a little bit high on the speed because I don't want to get too slow. Got so much turbulence on my last flight. Seattle Center published a center weather advisory. Dang. And I'm basically, I'm, I'm going to have all four white poppy lights on this landing because we're landing long. Like, I want to land past Bravo 5. <laughs> Actually, we're a little low if we're landing past Bravo 5. Because Bravo 5 is where the taxiway goes over to the terminal. If you see that up ahead. On the right side. We can easily put her down in that much space. Hi, right, Wisconsin, how you doing? Welcome on in. All right, I should start descending here. Actually, we'll aim for that to be our touchdown point. Just to have a spot to aim for. It's slightly long, but that's fine. And then I'm gonna roll all the way down to the end. No reason to not do that. No reason to slam the brakes and try and make... What was that, Alpha 4? And then we'll also go ahead and bring down the mixture. 
open up the cow flaps. You know, obviously, if there was an aircraft on final, I wouldn't have done that. Or, like, right behind me. Would have exited so the tower could give a guy landing clearance and not have to tell him to go around. Indianapolis traffic, uh, pilot up tree, 4 to 1, clear, runway 5 left, Alpha 1, taxiing over to Millionaire, uh, Indianapolis traffic. Up, up, about to miss my turn. Alright, so that's good for everything. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm not even gonna taxi all the way over to Millionaire, we're gonna, we're gonna go over to some dude's hangar here, say he's my friend or something. This big hangar right there. It's like we're gonna be taxiing most of the way down five left to take off so it'll be a little easier to just start here all right so fuel I think we'll need to take on a little bit of fuel before we get back out of here should have taken on everything I needed back at Louisville like put in like 60 65 percent would have probably been great Oh, yeah, they just cut on their own. All right. It's fine with me. Just going to cut them anyways. All right, we'll get avionics off. Actually, those can be forwards where we go start the engine here in a second. Well, actually, while I'm fueling it, we'll leave them down. Let's see your fuel. Actually, 40%. Yeah, we could probably make it, but you know, I want to have plenty of reserves, especially for an event. So we'll take it up like 44. Should probably be good enough. Alright, now we'll go and try and start the engines. So, actually, I need to have the mixture down first because we have a warm engine. And then I need to run this, both of them actually, on high for like 30 seconds. Get the warm oil flooded out. Turn the beacon back on. And while it does that, I'll work on filing the flight plan. Go to KMDW Midway via. What is the route again? Brickyard. Whatever the uh, boiler, I think, and then whatever the other one was. Actually, what is that? Oh yeah, boiler. Got it right. I'm smart. All right, we're slant alpha, getting out of here about zero zero fifteen or so. Time and route, probably about an hour. Cruise speed, sure. Cruise altitude. Is there any kind of real limits here I gotta worry about? Uh, we've got a limit of 2,700, 2,500, 28, 28, 35. Of course, we're not actually using that, but 35 is probably good to keep in mind. So, we need an even direction of flight, so that'll be at least 4,000 feet. I'm going to go for 6 or maybe even 8. Yeah, I'll probably go 8. 8,000. 8,000, 8, hit file. This should be well flushed. And now we'll bring the mixture up, start one engine at a time. Start at the right one. 1, 2, 3. You heart IFR? Of course you do. And then from there, bring the prop or the throttle down a little bit, bring it up a tiny bit. Hit the starter. Will it start first try? I think it did. Nice. First try. On a hot engine start. And then we'll start the other one. One, two, three, got fuel flow. 
and then bring the prop down or the throttle down start it and I think that one's first try nice both of them first try that's great back when I first got this point I struggled to start the engine correctly and we get the avionics on beacons already on that'll bring the mixtures down halfway to prevent fouling of the spark plugs duty calls and yeah, we'll see you later and we'll be out of here 3000 that's the ZID way of uh, getting us out of here our heading should be 050 uh, for an initial departure you know, about 050 at least So about there, we'll hit heading over here. Uh, we do need to start plugging in some frequencies. So Brickyard is... Uh, where is it? Right here. 116.3. We should already have that in there. Yes. Right there. Actually, we'll throw that down the other side of the screen there. And then, if we follow the airway, which actually I'll plug in the stuff as to where we're going. Got VHP, Victor 399, Boiler. Victor 51 CGT and then Midway Alright, so the boiler VOR that we need 115 point uh, point one So 115 point one who played heavy you got August all right and then after that, we will need 114.2. Put that in there. Our outbound radio from Brickyard is 311. So we'll come over here, plug that in. Although we'll need to go direct there first, but we'll see how that goes. And then after that, we need a 158. I think that should be inbound. I could be wrong. No, I think it's the other way around. So that would be three. Math is hard. 338. And we'll put that in down here. I mean, don't, don't let Anidin catch you saying math is hard, because uh, he's, he's got those special Asian powers. I don't know what it is. He's, he's smart. Now, I'll hit B just to get the altimeter, even though I set it up in the air before we arrived, so it shouldn't have changed. How you doing? It's good. Just got out of the briefing. No, I didn't even go to the briefing. I don't, don't need it. I'm briefing my own stuff. <laughs> you know? Yeah. It was pretty boring, just there's a lot of wind in midway. Yeah, bro, fly in Thursday. You you basically don't need to go to the reefing. Yeah, but 23 knot winds in midway. That's nice. Really? Yeah, gusting 23. Uh, I'm showing 090 at 13. But it looks like the previous weather update was 040 at 15 guessing 23. Uh, so it's oh, maybe really died down a little bit. Yeah, it was an hour old ages. So. Yeah, I know. But interesting. What's your arrival time? I don't know. It was it was supposed to be luck on all right, do I have any ATC? No. Disappointing. I, I'm just disappointed I don't have any ATC. Bro, I, I even put out a thing on the ZOD Discord just before I landed in Indy here of uh, 
What is it? Anyone getting online for the pilot club fly on Thursday to Midway? <laughs> and no what people they're just talking about uh FS Expo. <laughs> they just completely ignored what I said. Alright, I think we're ready to go. Again. Yeah, my plane's too fast. I'm gonna make it there early, but it's only twenty minutes early, it's not that bad. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah. Really, plus or minus thirty minutes of the normal arrival times, it's fine. As long as ATC is online for you. Actually, who do we have on tower? Ah, it's not the guy it's not the tower controller, I know. Alright, time to go. Indianapolis traffic, uh pilot up tree forty one is a baron. Tax now to runway five left via Alpha. Indianapolis traffic. Why is okay everything's so quiet now? Just need to set flaps one there. Ah, we're about to turn, not turn hard enough. I literally had full rudder. Spill issue. I'm just mowing their grass for free, I guess. taxi so fast it's not even that fast I'm like oh that is a little fast actually you're supposed to keep it under 25 on the speed or on the ground speed but the thing about this engine or these two engines I guess is if I don't keep the throttle up the engines will just randomly cut out on their own I'm not exactly sure why It's a Southwest Baron. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm training to become a Southwest pilot when I'm older. No, I don't know. Think I can make Alpha 5? I think I can. It's 11,000 foot runway. Yeah, screw it, I'm gonna go for it. Indianapolis traffic baron or pilot cup tree 41 taking off runway 5 left alpha 5 will be high far to the north the Indianapolis traffic let's call it a little early you know get the lights on landing strobes I don't see anyone on final no one out that way. I bet you I could have even made Alpha 4. But then there's buildings that could have gotten in the way. Totally could have made Alpha 4 if I wanted to. Bro, so if I ever come to Indy and there's like ATC online and they, uh, you know, they're running the fives, I might just depart at Alpha 4 next time. The gear is up. Yeah, I'll go ahead and get flaps up. And autopilot. Get cow flaps closed. Don't really need those. And then once we get above 2,500, I think it is, or 400, then we can turn. According to ATC procedures, at least. Yeah, 
Actually, probably just after Brickyard, I'll go call up Chicago. Pull back the RPM a little bit. Start our turn. Yeah, apparently they fixed a bunch of things for like the various avionics in the sim with the avionics update today. Like one of them is how your heading bug works in like the G1000 with in combination with the autopilot. Indianapolis traffic pilot up tree 41 clear runway 5 a left last call Indianapolis. Alright, so I'm basically directed sync up the heading bug once it mostly figures out what it's doing. Go ahead and tune up Chicago. There's two of them. Um, oh, they're a high-low split. One of them says 240 and above. And another guy is in training. Hmm, okay. 120.35. Chicago Center, Sky Blue, 1077, flight level 340. We are 30 miles east of Fort Wayne. Southeast. Yeah, Sky Blue, 1077, contact Chicago Center, 126.47. 126.47, they, they didn't look at their controller remarks there. Alright, so I'm 5,000 feet. Chicago Center, Southwest 1133, left flight level 2000 for 2000. Southwest 1133, Chicago Center, radar contact. Climb maintain level 230. Clear direct Comiskey. Wait, oh, I thought I had a heading, heading mode on. Clear direct Comiskey and over to 230, Southwest 1133. Chicago Center, November 6300, Lima, type PA-28R, 5,500 feet, 10 miles northeast of the Spinner Vortex, destination is Midway. Right, standby. Sterling <laughs> 1738, descend and maintain 1,000. They don't even have an approach controller, oh jeez. I'm Chicago Empire 42, uh, do we have a clearance uh, for O'Hare yet? Standby. Chicago Center, pilot up 36, flight level 240. Pilot up 36, Chicago Center, good evening. Frontier flight 1023. Disregard. Hmm. United That's not good. United as the factors for the descent, turn right heading 090. Zero, zero. Uh, 3047 is on a track heading uh, 090. I show you on about a 350. Turn right heading 090. Zero, zero. The plane is coming around for uh, uh, 3047. Go ahead and hit nav mode. It'll probably turn into it. Oh, it's not. Okay. Standby. Uh, huh. Everyone, flight stand by. Three cross Haley at a maintain six thousand. Then we altimeter two hundred nine or seven. Down six thousand. Uh, Frontier flight ten twenty three. Citrus eight thirty eight. Maintain two five zero knots. Cross Haley at a maintain six thousand. The then we altimeter two hundred nine or seven. So let's see here. Cross zero knots. Send across Haley at six. I'm actually not going to be talking to center for a minute. Let's show you guys something here in the controlling client. So technically, I would still be in Indianapolis Approaches airspace. And since I'm at 8,000 feet, I'm not up in Chicago Center's airspace. 
So it'll be a minute before I actually call them. If this thing wants to load. There it is. Indianapolis. So, you know, we've got India right there. And then I am somewhere... Let's see here. Right here's Brickyard. So I am now somewhere around there, I think. Actually, wait, can I bring up airways in this? Where's the airways? It's supposed to be somewhere on here. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I could look at, like, all of the maps, but, like, I'd have to go bring up the PDF that shows all of them. What is Brickyard? Brickyard is a VOR that's right next to uh, Indianapolis. It's a uh, Victor Hotel Papa. Yeah, I'm probably just going to bring up the PDF. And then I can figure out... Or I can bring up the airways. Maybe. Hmm. Oh wait, is it just 11? I know they were moved around recently so that it might not actually be right. Oh, it is. Yeah, right there. So, that's the airway I'm on is this uh, Victor 24, and then I'll be up to here. And then where is... Okay. So it's about the time I get to that waypoint, I'd be in Chicago's airspace. Brickyard is Republic Airlines. You thought it was Airline 2, right? <laughs> no, Brickyard is, is a VOR, unless I'm messing that up. No, Brickyard right there. Yep. I'm not misremembering it. Weird they wouldn't call it Republic? Nah. Yeah, so right there is near the edge of the airspace for Indianapolis. So what is that waypoint? Over Jax? Although I'll probably call in... You know, off of, uh, Brickyard. Which, really, I should call him soon. The Boone, Cross Boone, at and, one and then we've got the notebook. Now, you know what's pretty cool? This We're now on the last page in this notebook, so I'll, I'll need to go get a new one. Before, before, um... Actually, when's the next time I'm flying? Sunday, maybe? Actually, no, not even Sunday. I don't know... Probably Tuesday would be it'll be the next time I fly. Because tomorrow I'm going to try and control down in Houston. Saturday, earlier than usual, I'll try and control at Louisville. Sunday is my brother's birthday party. And so there's a chance I won't be streaming. If I do, it'll be a different time than usual, probably. Then there is... Monday, no, the usual Minecraft stream. Tuesday's GA Tuesday. Wednesday, I don't know if I'm controlling or not, or if I'm even streaming at all. Because that'll be like packing day for whenever I'm, I'm going out to wherever. Let's see, any new centers? No. clear direct to old chick. Correct, Old Chick, Frontier, Flight 1023. Frontier, Flight 1023, cross Old Chick at 4000, clear to RNAV Yankee, runway 4 right. Uh, cross Old Chick at 4000, uh, Frontier, Flight 1023. Skyblade 1077, taking in, sending 240. Skyblade 1077, uh, Chicago Center, good evening. You can uh, cross 
megs at and maintain one one thousand south bend altimeter two nine or nine. All these seven. Pittsburgh hockey names. Okay, megs hmm. at one one thousand two nine or nine or seven. In Chicago Center, pilot cub tree 41, about to 2 1 miles northwest of the Brickyard VOR at 8,000. Pilot cub tree 41, squawk 1360. 1360, one, one, pilot cub tree 41. He couldn't just radar contact me after that? 45, pass the L250, about 30 north of Fort Wayne Vortex. Dang. A lot of their waypoints are hockey uh, guys. Point, three, 45, squawk 1347. 1347, five, Chicago Center, Empire 42, Echo, uh, Milwaukee, Judaxi, short of Alpha. Okay, uh, Empire 42, Romy 7, right, taxi via Alpha 5. 7, right, Alpha 5, Empire 42. Where is Empire? Citrus 838. Clear direct old chick, cross old chick at 4000. Clear to RNAV Yankee 4 right. Clear direct old chick. Oh, cross he's old at check, uh, Milwaukee. Clear to RNAV Yankee 4 right. Uh, Citrus 838. I'm turn on the heat again. United 303, Chicago Center, standby for BDC. Chicago Center, good evening. Citation Still hasn't radar contacted me. Descending through flight level 310 for flight level 240. All right, let's see. I need to know when to turn. Um, I mean, really, it's... It's whenever this is lined up correctly. We've got 18 miles from there, you know, I'll just use the distance measurement. About 31 miles. So we've got three I'm miles to go. Empire 42, 7 right, Milwaukee, ready for departure. Hit the heading bug. And then up here... Oh, she already didn't plug that in. Empire 42, 040 at 9 or fly runway heading, runway 7 right, group for takeoff. Point 10, one zero. Right, group takeoff from the heading, Empire 42. Not quite direct, but uh, it'll be offset a little bit. All the crept on the ground, I don't hear contact. Uh, we hear tower 1, 20.75. Hmm. He's just like, everyone get out of here, I'm tired of you. <laughs> Alright, and then I should be able to hit nav, middle turn. And then the one after that will again be this, except we'll be flying 337 outbound. Spirit wing 1738, uh, descend and maintain 9000. It'll be about there, I think. A little bit off. Fog of 24 is approaching top descent. But really, can I pick up the other VOR? The, um, 114.2? Fog of 1000. Up and altimeter 299 or 7. Not yet. So we'll probably fly outbound from this one for a while. It's a high, so what does that go out to? Like 50, 60 miles? Chicago Center, Pilot Cup Tree 41. Are we uh, radar contact? Pilot uh, Cup Tree 41, A firm, radar contact, uh, 30 miles southeast of the Boiler VOR. You can expect a visual to runway 4 right at midway. I expect visual 4 right, Pilot Cup Tree 41. So actually, we can come over here to midway. Ah, oh, dang it. To midway. And we'll get procedures, four right, 
Not R-Nav. I can't do an R-Nav in this plane. Oh, yeah. There's no... Oh, there's no house right there. So I can at least have that handy. I'll plug it in when we get a little closer. I'm Chicago Center, Empire 42, 1800. And the Empire 42, Chicago sun Center. should be going down as we Better do this whole flight here. Climb and maintain 7,000, clear direct Lenny. Up to 7,000 and direct Lenny, mm. uh, Empire 42, thank you. Chicago Center, pilot club 1496, level 240. Hmm. Chicago Club 1496, Chicago Center. Call 1496, radar contact, uh, two zero miles southwest of the Dubuque VOR. Expect the visual to go in four right. Expect the visual for four right, uh, 1.96. Give him a radar contact? Hmm. Interesting. Chicago Center, Pilot 510 with you at 17,400. They give him no information as to where he is. That's real helpful coming from 510. Or coming from anyone, not just him. Stand by. Frontier Flight 10, 23, midway wind, 09 or 013, runway 4 right. Clear to land. Clear to land, 4 right. That's Frontier Flight 10, 23. Chicago Center, Pilot Club 1.2, 30.6, descending to 4,000. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, Spirit Wing 1738, set to maintain 4,000. Yeah, 3047, uh, descending to maintain 9,000. 9,000, United 3047. Sky Blue 1077, cross Haley, you to maintain 6,000, South Bend altimeter 200, 9 or 7. All right, we'll close that up a little bit. You know what I should do? Check out my, um... Let's see your fuel flow and stuff. Let's try and get as much power as we can out of it. Oh, come on. There we go. Runway 4 right, transition. Uh, the midway altimeter 200, 907. 2907. We just get that EGT so it's like as hot as it can be, and then go a, and then go a little bit backwards so it's a little bit below that. That's uh, what is that? Is that Lena Peak? Pretty sure. I'm just moving the uh, mixture lever. Chicago Center, good evening. Citation seven Romeo Papa, flight level two four zero. Seven, Very Romeo slowly. Chicago Center. Good evening. Cross Megs at and maintain one one thousand. The South Bend altimeter. Two hundred nine or seven. Megs at one one thousand. Romeo Papa. Got it on both engines. Actually, I'm, I didn't even check what my fuel flow was before it. Uh, I went down a decent amount actually. Localized report field in sight. Approach runway one zero center contact O'Hare Tower one two zero point seven five. Seven five. Contact O'Hare Tower one two zero seven five. You know, I kind of want to take the longitude back to uh, Louisville or something like that, because I finally got the longitude working again. Hmm. What is that? Uh, he forgot Midway was on. Uh, Chicago Club. Center, Pilot 510 with you at 17,500. Pilot Club 2345, cross Haley at a maintain 6,000. Haley at 6,000, Pilot 2345. 
Uh, Club 142, descend via the ND6 arrival, runway 4, right transition to midway altimeter 2997. 97, descend via the ND6. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> descend via the ND6, pilot Club 142. Dude's just out here coughing a bunch. Bro, this is some crazy, like, haze coming up here. Now Club 3280, Chicago Center. Good evening. It's a pain to talk, Megs at and maintain not push to, no, it's push to talk, not altimeter. push to cough. Two, nine or nine or seven. Mm. Uh, Megs at 11,000, or 11,000, uh, 3280. Oh wait, I'm gonna need to hit my uh, heading hold here for a second. Heading. Because we'll be passing over the VOR. Chicago Center Walker 32, 43, 18 miles. Put that off by like a degree. Uh, it's still heading, right? Walker oh crap, autopilot somehow Walker turned off. I must have hit a button on the keyboard accidentally. What the hell? That was a weird one. Damn it, I turned the wrong knob. That autopilot is less predictable than my landings. <laughs> We gotta go re-intercept it. And we have the from flag now. I actually hear Morse code. Yeah. Wasn't able to before when I was trying to identify the ILS. Seven descend and maintain four thousand. Four thousand and United thirty four. It's so quiet though, and like, I don't really know how to turn it up. Oh crap, I passed it up. Damn it, passed it. hit nav mode before I forget or else I will forget again Chicago Senate Delta 8970 is currently about 20 miles to the southwest of the Mike Zulu Zulu be aware of passing flight level 310 for 240 Delta 8970 Chicago Center good evening 114.2 actually I can put the hours frequency in standby here 111.5 might actually help a little bit. And then I can get the inbound radial to here, which is 156. Actually, did I already plug that in? I might have. Walker 3243, uh, yeah, airport's at your 10 o'clock and one zero miles for field site. Insight, Walker 3243. Walker 3243, clear visual approach, right, eight left. Clear for the visual eight left, walking 3243. Uh, sky blue, 1077 contact, Chicago approach, 119.0. 119.0, sky blue, 1077. Power club 2345, contact, Chicago approach, 119.0. Who approaches on? Approach 119.0, Chicago 2245. Okay, Chicago, uh, Delta, yep. uh, 2969, good evening. Five level 200. United 3047, turn right heading 360, maintain 210 knots, vector final approach course. And wait, also uh, in my COM 2, uh, we'll put in the midway ATIS. United 3047. 132.75. Chicago approach 119.0. Midway 
I always hate this where I can't get the COM2 to work correctly. Yeah, it's not doing it at all. Number 7, Romeo pop across Haley at a maintain 6,000. Haley at 6,000, 7, Romeo pop. Number 7, Romeo pop, fly the runway 4 right transition if I didn't say that. Alright, 4 right transition for the course, 7, Romeo pop. Yeah, there's... Doesn't want to do it. So we'll just get Texas. Chicago Center Walker 3243, three mile final, he left. Bro, there's all this like. It's not really haze because I am 8,000 feet in the air. Of 1496 uh, vectors for spacing and uh, for sequence slide heading 180. So let's see here. Once uh, we get to Lucid, apparently, is when we switch we over. You've gained 17,000 and hitting 180 for Power Club 1496. Or no, Zoro. Power Club 36, uh, descend via the ND6 arrival, midway altimeter 2997, fly runway 4 right transition. So I'm going to so have the DME uh, on the second thing. Seven, the altimeter and tour right transition, pilot up 36. And then 114.2, one, uh, make sure that's right, yes. Short, final, eight left. So once we pick it up, about 28 miles, then we'll start using it. Uh, Walker 32.43, runway 8 left, clear to land. 8 left, clear to land, Walker 32.43. Surprisingly, I've seen no weather on the weather radar. Uh, Club 142. Vector 4, sequence, fly heading 180, maintain, level 220. Fly level 220 and turn it to 180. Oh, the ball puts it. Chicago Center, Pilot 5, 10, requesting to descend to uh, 10,000. Isn't it VFR? 4673, uh, contact Chicago Approach 119.0. 119.0, thanks for your company. Yeah, Pilot 510 is VFR. He can descend wherever he wants. Empire 42, contact Chicago, approach 119.0. 19.04, Empire 42, break for the bus. Walker 3243, Texas, ramp via Juliet, Foxtrot, Victor. Anything I'm missing down here? Uh, it's not getting too exit. hot. One one a thousand cross Haley at and maintain at six thousand. Cross Mags at uh, one one thousand and uh, cross. What was the uh, waypoint for six thousand? Uh, uh, three two eighty. Uh, top pocket three two eighty of the Haley at six thousand. Haley at six thousand. Uh, three two eighty. Chicago Center South for thirty four twenty. Would you climb into mile nine thousand for one two zero? Uh, I just realized cross Meg's enemy the center 1, controller South is now doing everything on his own. Cross Meg's at, um, I'm sorry, the, option again. Cross the other guy is monitoring this guy. One, one okay, Meg's 1-1000. One, one, uh, Club 1496, turn left, heading 080. 080, Pilot Club 1496. Let me get the text data from Midway. I mean, it'll be changing in 15 minutes, but we can at least get a head start. Juliet. Uh, altimeter 2 niner. 9 or 7. 4 right. Approaching use. Adding and departing runway is 4. Or five drops in Yankee, approach five minutes out of cockpit. Approved. Chicago Center, Southwest 3420, with you, climbing at 120. We have Juliet. I just got the text version of it. 
Pod Club 142, maintain 250 knots. Oh, in the 250 Pod Club Center, Puzzle 686, leveling, flight level 180. Pod Club 686, Chicago Center, good evening. <laughs> All these people just keep checking in. Chicago Center, Voyager 190, flight level 280. I guess they didn't announce this event on the VAT USA website because there's not too much traffic. Do you want to Pilot Club 1496 to continue to attend via the uh, rival group? Pilot Club 40, 1496, they affirm to send via the ND6 arrival runway uh, 4 right transition. Let's say the 22nd. Send via the ND6 uh, runway 4 right transition. Oh yeah, right. there's that, that one event over in Hawaii. It's, where uh, it's uh, just tower controllers. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Pilot Club 1496, maintain 2. I think they might have all the towers staffed. There are seven Romeo Papa contacts, Chicago approach, 119.0. Approach in 119.0, seven Romeo Papa, thanks for the help. See ya. Pop up 142, left turn direct Purdy, maintain 250 knots. Left turn direct Purdy. I'll probably be contacting them soon. Chicago Center Primary 42. 211 with you, flight level uh, 30,000, uh, two minutes before descent. Uh, flight level, bruh, 30,000. That's not how that worked. That'd be a really high flight level. Delta 8970 to maintain level 230. Then we have nav mode here. Agent It'll turn to re intercept the, the VOR. And then I need the ILS here. Not that I don't really need it. It's more for just guidance. Zero four seven up here for that uh, localizer. Two nine nine or Charlie Whiskey contact Chicago approach one nine point zero. One nine point zero citation nine or Charlie Whiskey. Pilot Club 36, contact Chicago approach 119.0. How's my fuel looking? 119.0, Pilot Club 36. It's not doing Club 32, too 80, contact hot. Chicago approach 119.0. But it's something. Also, I forgot on the overlay, I forgot to change what airport we're going to now. Pilot Club uh, 341, are you able to uh, go direct to Haley? <sighs> Eh, probably not since we're a uh, slant alpha for uh, tree 41. Uh, but I think I stepped on you for a uh, Pelican tree 41. Pelican uh, tree 41, are you able to go direct to Haley intersection? Eh, we would be uh, unable since we're just slant alpha here. I'll copy that. All right, Pelican tree 41 to center maintain 6,000. Center maintain 6,000, Pelican tree 41. Pilot Club 341, amend the altitude, set and maintain 4,000. Set and maintain 4,000, Pilot Club 341. Pilot Club 142, descend via the ND6 arrival, the midway altimeter 2997, <laughs> runway 4 right transition. Send by the ND6, 4 right transition, <sighs> Okay. Hey, August, are you still there? United 944, Chicago Center. Uh, climb and maintain, level 350, resume normal speed. Yeah, alright. So something I've never understood is how the true airspeed thing works right here. Like you got temperature up there and speed down there. Do you put in the ground speed, or the ground temperature, or do you calculate the temperature that you have in there. Actually, I can use this. I am dumb. So, w would I put in 50 degrees into that? That seems really high. Or would I put in altitude on that? 
Radio 1, check it in, 3 4 zero. P ALT there. I mean, that does say altitude to me. Plug in Celsius temperature and the altitude, it will work. Wild Club. 538 cross Haley at a maintain. Better damage on the top. The window is altitude. So, altitude. So, what? You just put that on the center of it? So, say yeah, I'm going to 4,000 here. I mean, technically, I'm still at 6. We'll, we'll put it at 6. So, what? Do you put that on the center part of it? Right there? Right over 0? Right. Window is altitude. So do I match the two? Because we've got Chicago Center Radar contact T zero miles south. About 50 degrees or so. Your current altitude under current temp and C. All right, so six, and then we'll move that over to uh, 50. Sky blue one. You can cross. Uh, Although it's plus and minus. Cross Fisk at a maintain. One, one, I'm sorry, cross Megs had to maintain 11000, the southbound altimeter, 29 or 7, runway 4 right transition. Okay, Megs at 11, we have the altimeter 4 right. Who knows current southbound. altitude? Prime Air 4211, cross Megs had to maintain 11000, the midway altitude. Current altitude south under altitude, current temp and C. Runway 4 right transition. Actually, I'll just. Four right transition, we got the numbers. Four right prime air, 4211, 1000 level mix. No, plus 50, but that is Fahrenheit, that 50 is Fahrenheit. It shows temp C and over here. Oh, wait, I am dumb. Yeah, it is Fahrenheit outside. So that's about 15 Celsius. So I'm going to line it up with four since that's where we're going to be cruising at. So around there? Runway four right transition, south and altimeter 29 or 9 or 7. Maintain one, one thousand, right transition, so Celsius, so I would be going club five, 180 true airspeed approximately, maybe? Five, nine, and 19 zero, pilot cup three forty one. Empire 42, Chicago approach. Club 1490 Eventually I can check in. Uh, one, two miles from LQ, cross LQ at 6,000, cleared ILS runway 4 at approach. Cross LQ at 6,000, cleared to the ILS 4 at approach, citation 299 or Charlie Whiskey. Chicago approach, pilot cup 341, 4,000. Pilot cup 341, Chicago approach, information Juliet's current, midway altimeter 299 or 7, expect vectors, visual approach runway 4 at Expect vectors visual four right. I'll pick up Juliet to Pilot Cup 341. I'll, I'm not even gonna say that I forgot to call. I'll just pick, I'll pretend I'll pick it up. Check in, struggle is real. Yep. Yankee, runway four at approach. So we need plus. Uh, yeah, that would be plus. So move the four over to about right there. No, in between those two lines. So that would be it. True airspeed being higher than indicated. Station 9, Charlie Whiskey, reduce speed at 210. Speed 210, Citation 9. Except now it's getting warmer, so it'll be a little farther over. Well, warmer because I'm descending.
Alright, so after this VOR, uh, I guess I'll just continue present heading? Instead of trying to do the VOR to go direct the field? Yeah, Chicago approach, Bronco 142 is with you, 13,000, descending on the end of the Club 142, Chicago approach, information, Juliet's current, midway altimeter, 297. Expect ILS runway 4 right approach. Actually, I'll go ahead and hit the heading bug. 4 right, we have Juliet, follow Club 142. It's getting even warmer in the cockpit. Empire 42, Mike, please. Empire 42, 5 by 5, fly heading 260, vector to final. Roger, thank you, 260, vector to final. Empire 42. Actually, where are we parking? We've got Atlantic down there. There's also Signature. I'd prefer Atlantic. Especially because we're in forward, right? Three zero zero, Pelican three forty one. Pelican forty six seventy three, the O'Hare altimeter two nine or nine or six. Two nine or nine or six, Pelican three six seventy three. Club 538 to Cinnamon, maintain 4,000. 2345, yeah, Connor uh, already landed, it looks like. Pilot Club Jefferson, 36, speed to, uh, as you call him. You're doing 250 right now, correct? I'm showing 245, Pilot Club 36. Pilot Club 36, speed to 210. 210, Pilot I thought it was going to be dark by the time I got in here. And I want to try and maintain, you know, like best forward speed. Or at least about as best as I can. Oh, and I should plug in the uh, ILS now. 11.5. Empire 42 descend and maintain 4,000. Descend and maintain 4,000, Empire 42. And then there's 047. Here we go. We're set. Let's see. They might put me down to as low as. 4,000 maybe? Oh, actually, I'm already at 4,000. I don't know what their MVA is, but it's something. Pilot Club 341, descend maintain 3,000. 3,000, Pilot Club 341. Pilot Club 1496, ready to get a 210. This is 210 North, Pilot Club I don't want to go too fast, though. Hey, how's it going? They're about to there, I think. I got GSX shut up. Oh, GSX is getting mad at you? I parked the cargo ramp or something, and it says it's still. There's a cargo ramp at Midway? No, no, that's a huge hangar. And it says it's too small for my private jet. If it's a huge hangar, it, it's, it might be southwest. You could probably. Where, 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 which is it? The north part? Yeah, the north part. Yeah, pretty sure that's. Maybe so, actually. I don't, I don't know if the southwest hangars are to the north or to the west. I think they're north. He, he exited me right and gave me tax instructions, so I thought it was fine. But then I realized he Pilot exited Club me. Pilot Club 36, one zero miles from LQ, cross LQ 6000, but I left on my full right approach. So, 
cross LQ at 4,000, clear at ILS for right approach. Wait, I gotta turn up my Discord, because I turned it down yesterday. 538, one mile from Old Tech, cross LQ check at 4,000, clear down at the Yankee, should help a little approach. bit. But my private chat was not gonna fit in the terminal. It's not gonna hmm. fit on the chat wall, so. Club 341, expect to run underneath the final on 3,000. 341. This, this cloud's looking pretty nice out there. Chicago approach, five, Especially if the, uh, one, one, the one, uh, sun uh, is it, is it uh, approach, Roger, isn't, uh, 20, not twilight. Like, what's the opposite of, of that? Sunset, I guess. Hey, firm, uh, do I have permission to the Class Bravo? Uh, Club 510, uh, remain above the Class Bravo at the moment. Maintain 10,500 or above. Uh, main above class Bravo. I will. Uh, I will go to uh, one one thousand five hundred and one eight zero for the heading for five five ten. Huh. Empire forty two, turn right heading zero seven zero. I like a five ten. Has no idea what he's doing. I don't. I don't think. Yeah. But I mean, at least he did one one thousand. So like you know, that's kind of good for the direction he's going. So apparently I'm expecting vectors to the localizer, I think. They'll get me turned in a different way. Pop Club 538, resume normal speed, contact Midway Tower 135.2 at Highland. Zero speed 135.2 at Highland, So banker, that's 5,000 feet. Reminds me of someone who flew into my local airport, got two numbers to copy, approach and tower? Holy crap, how bad of a pilot do you gotta be for that? <laughs> or incompetent of a pilot, I guess. Jeez, they're putting me right into the sun, bro. Pilot Club 341, turn right in 040, direct the field, and it'll be at 12 o'clock, 14 miles. Okay, right, 040, direct the field, it will report it in sight, Pilot Club 341. Why am I doing it that way? Chicago approach, good evening, Prime Air 4211. We're set up for uh, zero 04 for uh, Midway. We're like passing at 9,000 for uh, 6,000. Prime Air 4211, heavy Chicago approach. Information, Juliet. Uh, I think it just changed to uh, Kilo. Midway altimeter 299 or 7. Expect ILS runway 4 right approach. 4 right approach, uh, Prime Air 4211, done to 6. Pod Club 1496, five mile, correction, seven mile from LQ, cross LQ at 6,000, cleared ILS runway, four right approach. Cross LQ at 6,000, cleared ILS, four right at LQ, one point at a time. I look up 341 as the field in sight. Pod Club 341, cleared visual approach, uh, change to runway four left. Cleared visual runway four to left, uh, I look up 341. Dang. Can't use the localizer. Pilot Club 341, one piece of traffic for you. He's turning a five mile base to final is a uh, 737. And uh, 341, we'll keep a lookout. Pilot Club 341, thanks for your help. Contact tower 135.2. 35 2, Pilot Club 341. Pilot Club 36, traffic. Midway Tower, Pilot Club 341, a visual four left. Pilot Club 341, Midway Tower, runway four left, clear to land. Four left, clear to land, Pilot Club 341, and we're uh, going to Atlantic. Roger. All aircraft information, QNL, current wind 080 at 8, altimeter 29 or 9 or 7. I need to actually. I'll keep the speed up because I have jets coming in. Then I'll I'll just chop the throttle and the the gear and all that here in a minute.
will keep her mostly full throttle until I get a little closer. Whereas Atlantic, it's at the south part of the airport. Station Niner Charlie Whiskey, welcome to Chicago State Parking. We're going to Atlantic on the uh, south end. Citation Niner Charlie Whiskey, taxi to parking by a Yankee, cross runway 3 1 right, 3 1 center, and 3 1 left on Yankee. Taxi to parking by a Yankee, clear to cross 3 1 right, 3 1 center, and 3 1 left uh, on Yankee. Citation Niner Charlie Whiskey. Okay, we got about six miles until technically the other end of the field. So once that says four miles, then I'm gonna drop it. Midway Atlantic is South an ocean. Ah, oh, god damn it! Screw off. Apparently, they're supposed to be working on fixing Pilot, that right now. Uh, last aircraft calling Midway Towers. Say again. Midway Tower, pilot club 46783 with you at 1,903. Coffee machines are pretty cool, that's good. I'm VFR, looking for a left downwind on port right if possible. Or sorry, port left if possible. Pilot club 4673, Midway Tower, enter a left downwind, runway 4 left. Enter yes, the left I downwind, know. enter 4 left, pilot club 4673. Midway Tower, Pilot Club 36, ILS, 4 right. Pilot Club 36, Midway Tower, wind 080 at 8, runway 4 right, clear to land. 4 right, clear to land, Pilot Club 36. Pilot Club 538, parking by Yankee, get in. Parking by Yankee, Pilot Club 538. Oh yeah, photogrammetry data is not there at all. Luckily, I have scenery for this airport. <laughs> I'm also high on the lo on the ILS apparently. That's slightly fine because this runway, eh, it's like 50 feet or less shorter on the left side. Where well, this literally makes it look like FSX or or worse. What the heck is up with the photogrammetry? I'll fix that. The RNAV to four right was fun. All right, that's good, I guess. Wait, is the airport screwed up too? It might be. God, damn it. Two two six traffic, a Baron fifty eight over the numbers for left report in sight. What the heck, bro? I even have seen. I mean, the terminal looks fine over there. Oh, we got the sight. Two two six, follow that traffic. Runway four left, clear for the option. Unable stop and go. Clear for the option four left. Unable stop and go. Pod club three forty one, right turn pop up. Hold short runway four eight. Right turn, Papa. Hold short four right, uh, Pilot Club three forty one. If I can see Papa. Midway Tower, Pilot Club one four nine six eight mile tunnel ILS four right approach. Pilot Club fourteen ninety six Midway Tower wind zero eight zero at eight runway four right clear to land number two. Clear to land number two, Pilot Club one four nine six. Up, oh, is it starting to come back? Maybe. It might be. Time to or time to just turn the monitor off and fly by the taxiway chart. <laughs> or you mean taxi by the taxiway chart? Yep. It's starting to come back though. That's good. Two two six traffic is a A three twenty five mile final for the parallel report in sight. 
I assume lost connection at the same time. Oh, so it wasn't just me? Oh, okay. 1496 traffic, a Skyhawk turning base to final for the parallel reporting site. Oh no, we're about to have a head on. No! Roger. No! Uh, stand by. <laughs> Wait, is he pushing back? Is he? <laughs> oh no, he's not going backwards. He's just trying to turn. Club 36, if you still can, backtrack onto runway 4 right. We'll backtrack onto 4 right, and where do you want us uh, exiting? Right turn anywhere. We should have just gone back on the Papa. It's a TPC guy. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Well, scenery looks a little better. Somewhat. Need to make sure my engines don't cut out. I moved in while I was flaring and jumped up 20 feet, causing me to do a 446. Jeez. Like that live ADC auto where they both can't reverse. They're complaining about the scenery on the TPC Discord too. Yeah, that sucks. Just everyone's got turned off. Even though we already had it loaded in our sims, which is weird. I mean, it at least looks a little bit better now. A little bit usable. Uh, we're going to south ramp. We cleared any crossings. Explain superior. I don't know, bro. This one definitely looks better when it works correctly. Three one right, three one center, and three one left. Cleared across on Yankee. Puzzle three six. Hi. That was loud. I'm, 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 I'm just grinding out the wings plates for Boston, even though it's heavy IFR, he's giving me an exception. Really? You can simulate VFR. That's true. But like, in, 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 the, in the wings thing, it's... Okay, taxi by Papa Yankee Cross 3 1 is a pilot club at 341. Pilot club 1496, parking by Yankee today. Parking via Yankee, pilot club 1496, thank you. Track. Traffic, no factor now. See the traffic on final. See, I got the payware scenery here and everything. It somewhat helps, I guess. And then we'll cross here, too. Technically, he shouldn't have given us the crossings like that. He should have given us separate ones for crossing four right and then crossing all three ones. It's, it's ATC stuff. I mean, unless there's an actual proceed, there's an actual thing in their SOPs. That tells them they can do this. Yeah, that is the three. exception. Pilot Club 686, Midway Tower, runway 4 right, clear to land, number 2. Close land 4 right, number 2, Pilot Club 686. Pilot Club 142, traffic a Cessna 150, downwind for the parallel hazard in sight, maintaining visual. Yeah, cop the phone, come on, what do we have? Yeah, I guess we're both going in Yankee 4. Over to Atlantic. You have 8.3k? Oh, do ya? Where are we parking? I guess we'll kind of just follow him. Club 4673 additional traffic is a Embraer Phantom 100 five mile final for the parallel reporting site. Can I fit over here by all these Skyhawks? Maybe I can. 
Cloud Club 4673 maintain visual separation with them as well. Gotta watch the wings. Cloud Club 686 traffic, a Cessna safe to final has you in sight maintaining visual. We got the traffic inside Cloud Club 686. And then I'll turn over. Yeah, we're good. We we have plenty of room here. And you can see where the, the commonly fit aircraft right here because there's an oil stain. Two, two six traffic a Cessna one fifty. Face the final for runway four left report in sight. Two two six in sight. Two, two, six, follow that traffic. Any idea why TPC has only traffic. given me points twice? Well, I don't know. The option behind the traffic. Only will stop going to two, six. On a lot more than that, I don't know, bro. Maybe you gotta let you gotta let them know when they miss you, and they'll know to look for you and all that. Pile up one forty two. Vacate right when able, as soon as possible, and stay parking. Yeah, we took off to the left. We're going in the west side to signature Pile Club 142. Pile Club 142, Roger. Hold short runway for left. We'll hold short for left. Pile Club 142. All right, there we go. There's all the stuff. Turned off. Everything should be good, I think. Oh, cow flaps were never opened. Whoops. You don't mind? Alright. Anyways, I think I want to fly out of here and back to Louisville in the longitude. Or should we go somewhere else? We can go to Oshkosh, maybe. Or should I just go back to Louisville? Or even Cincinnati, or... Uh, Columbus, maybe, is an option. Where do you guys think we should go? I wonder what mountain that is. Could be that one over in Japan. I think it's Japan at least. Trying to load up on Vatsim for the once in the blue moon that AGC is on. Where I want to fly. Mount Fuji, okay. Gonna try Portland to Seattle in a turbo arrow. Nice. Yeah, bro, my, my experience with the Seattle controllers, though, is not that great. They, they need to work on their training a bit. Big one in New Zealand, you think? Yeah. Where's my longitude? There it is. Essentially have no training. Yeah, they had an event a while, uh, like a few months ago uh, featuring a bunch of class deltas between a few different Arctics, but they had like three or four of them up in uh, up in Seattle's airspace. And those controllers did not know how to deal with VFR aircraft. Like, it was really weird. There's, like, one of the towers that did. He knew what he was doing. And I talked to him, like, three times during the whole event. Let's see. You know what? I could do a Voyager flight. Do we have a Voyager livery for this? Oh, no. I disabled all the liveries just trying to fix the plane. So I'll have to selectively re-enable them later. They like revamped the training, so that's good. In the process, up, oh, remind me to never fly in Seattle's airspace then. <laughs> you 
You're about to crash a plane into me or something. He's super backed up too. Yeah, yeah, ZID has got a got a little bit of trouble too. 99% of my VFR flight at ZSC. Of course you do. You know, I'm gonna let that scenery load here. Gotta hit the, the pause button to change my controls. Next training slot? Really, bro? What? I just said next training shot slot is a week from now. Bro, I wish we had like actual training slots over in ZID. Oh yeah, gosh, I'm, I'm inside an aircraft. Hold up, I'm, I'm gonna get a screenshot of my uh... My trainings, because they're all backed up max length. But... Bro, ZID ain't even got anything like that right now. There's this like we we don't have a software to really schedule them. We have a whole yeah. website. ZID oh, used to, SOPs but but like, but like because of uh, the instructors and stuff, half the time wouldn't even go look at it. That they, they kind of got rid of it and did a different system now. Citation. Yeah. Special. Heck yeah, bro. And we'll go connect as we'll just do the November call sign. Citation longitude. All right, let's go figure out the flight. Even though I can almost guess somewhat of what it's gonna be. It knew midway. Where where do, where should I go? You know, I was thinking of just going back to Louisville, but you know, I could do Columbus, Indy, Cincinnati, Dayton. I could do any of those. Like a random, like just wheel spin. Ah. Lazy for that. <laughs> I'll do it. Let me find the website. Wheel spin. Pick a wheel. Yeah, that seems like a good one. All right, we got. It. You know what I could do? Since tomorrow, since uh Saturday, I'll probably be on Louisville Tower. You know, I can just fly into Louisville and, you know, it's like, it's like I'm already there. We could do it that way. Alright, I got this wheel up. Hmm. Or even I could do Terre Haute too, I guess. Or, um, Evansville. Charleston's a little too far. Putting all the things on there. Yeah. <sighs> Can't even spell a thing. Oh, you put Oshkosh on there? <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know how to spell Terra Hope. Uh, it's two R's and then. Terracotta. H A U T, I think. Terracotta, sure. Yeah. Go for it. Alright. Oh, Columbus, alright. CMH. And then, I mean, that is like a VOR or in slant alpha kind of thing. There's a little more direct. That should work. I don't know why there's so many VORs in there. But 
there is. Actually, let me look up the, the midway departure, whatever it's called, the one they usually give people. The midway six. They have a whole bunch of different waypoints and stuff on there. I think earned would probably be what they would want me to do. Pretty sure they usually give people that. Better vectors to earned. Yeah, sure. Actually, these are all Victor Airways. That doesn't work for my plane. Can't do that. Oh, there we go. Dublin one. That one makes it a little better. I can do this. Oh, wait. Why does it have me going way over there first? Oh, I need to ch apparently check my email for a thing. Um, is this it? Oh yeah, 13 minutes ago. I didn't change anything on it. <laughs> That's a little weird. <laughs> okay. Whatever then. Gotta go. We'll see you, August. Yeah, bro. I want something a little more direct. So we're gonna we're gonna put. Uh... Actually, if I look at the Dublin one arrival. Starts at, you know, a bunch of different places. Yeah, Brian works. And then from here, we can kind of work backwards. Brian, we'll do this VOR. Oh, now we need the high. And then earned. From there to there, maybe. To somewhat be on an airway. That should work. Let's file that. IFR from Midway to Columbus. I don't know the time and route. We'll go 120 maybe. Cruise speed, real high. Altitude, even higher. Oh, well, maybe. Yes, it will be. Uh, let's go... Just because I want to, let's go up real high. 410. We are Slant Lima. And then I'll hit file. We'll probably get to get a PDC or something from Tower. Most likely. Alright, I gotta start the plane. Battery. And hope it still works. That's that's also the thing. Yeah, it should be working. Because there was a whole... There's a lot more red before. Hey, okay, APU. It is on. And it's higher than 7%. Yay. Ah, don't lag on me now. Huh? I always forget that my, uh, the Cleveland's website has like this game or mending play plan. Has what? Like, hold up. Yep. Got Midway and then Columbus. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna send a message to Krauss real quick. to Wyatt, W-H-E-T-T. -T. Then, actually, back. 
here. Load airway. Juliet 64. To FWA. Then Brian. Actually, wait, not Brian. So procedures. Arrival. The Dublin 1. Then Brian. To what runway? What's the weather over there? We've got 080, so that'll be one of the one zeros. Probably the right side. Hit load, and then we get everything. I like to go full on this. Aircraft systems. <clears throat> Losing my voice, what the heck? And don't step on a purple Lego? What do you mean? And we'll go pre-flight. No, apparently it doesn't want to do that. Oh, it does the uh, stuff up there. We'll do that in a minute. Performance, takeoff data, runway, full right, weather, load METAR, ram air temperature, runway, we have that takeoff config. That is fine. And then we need fuel and weight. Sync what's on board, which is 50%. I'm pretty sure I just left it at default. And then take off data, accept the speeds, we're good. Alright, we need the ATIS 132.75. 0808. Visibility 10. Fuel clouds at 10,000. Ceiling 16,000 broken. 25,000 broken. Temperature 23. 2.13. Altimeter 2907. Visual runway 4 right approach in use. Landing and departing runway 4. Notices to air mission. Aircraft should operate mode C on all taxiways and runways. Turbo jet departures maintain 250 knots until advised by a PC. VFR departures indicate type, field location, and requested heading. Brief and call runway hold short instructions and altitude assignments. Advise on initial contact. You have information, Kilo. Kilo. I missed the runway. Midway Airport ATIS information, Kilo 0053 Zulu. Four, uh... Went 0808. Visibility 10. Fuel clouds at 10,000. Ceiling 15. Stop it. Don't need it anymore. Let's go over to tower. There's no ground. One three five point two. Change to runway four left. Runway four left. Clear to land. All right, we'll jump over to four left for five left two fifteen. Flex jet three forty one. Wind zero eight zero eight. Runway four. There's right a flex jet three forty one. Runway four right. I'm, uh, sorry, flex jet three forty one. Hmm. Well, I'm not 341 right now, though. So we're going to Columbus CMH. Uh, craft. Route will be Radar Vectors 2. Earned. Uh, no, actually, I need to include the midway whatever departure it was. Probably load that in here. New flight. Edit this, KCMH, KMDW on that side. Let's yeah, the route. One turn right, heading 110, contact Chicago approach 119.0 today. Alright, we're to approach. Runway is available for right. Most likely we'll get the midway 6. Flexjet 341, turn Let's see. left, heading, correction, turn right, heading 090, runway 4 right, clear for takeoff. Go to 0 for takeoff 4 right, uh, flex ship 341. So radar vectors to earn... Midway, what's the number of that departure? 6? Midway 6 departure. Altitude, I don't know, but it probably says it in the departure. 
in the midway six. That is 3,000. And we'll expect 410 departure. You can actually check that. 1190.0. Uh, signature flight to 5 Club 215. 5 Club 215, right turn pop off. We'll there we go. Runway four, right? Got it all. Right turn for Papa, we'll hold short. Pile Club 215. Okay, Midway Tower, November 341, Sierra Whiskey, IFR to Columbus with uh, information kilo. Flexjet 341, contact Chicago approach, 119.0 today. Now he didn't ignore me, I just got the request in. Whiskey, Midway Tower is cleared to the Columbus Airport by the Midway 6 departure. Radar vectors earned, then as filed. Maintain 3000. Expect flight level 410, 10 minutes after departure. Departure frequency 119.0, squawk 3501. Here the Columbus Airport, uh, Midway 6 departure. Radar vectors earned, then as filed to maintain 3000. Uh, departure 119.0, squawk 3501, November 1, Sierra Whiskey. In November 1, Sierra Whiskey, read back correct, expect runway 4 right, call for taxi. Uh, obviously call for taxi. <laughs> you know? 3501. But what would I do? Call for takeoff uh, before I taxi? Cross runway 4 right on Papa, continue taxi. 3000. Cross runway 31 right, 317 or one in standby. Midway six. Right, can I even put that in here? Right on Papa, right on Yankee, Technically, I can. Three one, right center and left on Yankee to continue. Uh, five club two fifteen. Okay, we're going up to three thousand. There we go. Uh, I need to turn on the engines. Starting with the right engine. It all gets quiet in the cockpit. Because the air conditioning has got to turn off for them to start. And we can also get the trim set while we're here. Rudder trim is set. For that check, we can kind of ignore. Alright, that engine is started. I can't see crap right now. I don't need the panel lights to be that bright either. Seat belts on. Now the other one starts. Flying along, Jefferson? Uh, no, or are you, you doing something else? No, I'm doing this game thing for uh, Queen's Delivery on Cleveland. Clearance Delivery at Cleveland, huh? Thing is it like a thing they're having? They're making you do. What? Is it a thing yeah, they're like, making you do? No, it's some game. Like you could do it. It's just like their learning center. Hmm. Looks pretty. Yeah. Looks pretty decent to me. It's like yeah, it's kind of stupid. <laughs> the only thing you can change is the altitude of the route. So you, can't <laughs> have, like, you can't. You can't change that. Well, you, you usually wouldn't need to. Well maybe, well, maybe there's a Lima Cessna 152. You might have to change that. Yeah, it but doesn't matter. The main the things route. you got to focus on is altitude and route, usually. Yeah. Uh, I found the right one. Stop. Alright, so I got both my engines started. There we go. Dang it. 
Oh, he's going to DCA. Got the map up. Departure okay. is in standby. So, how Get many airframes there. bent tonight? Zero, because I'm a good pilot. Really Unlike bad. some people. Huh? What? I what a lot? No. It's a... Um, this is not an RNF jet. Wait, his okay. tower does not set anything for the last few minutes? I guess not. Yeah, I guess they've landed everyone. Dang. Taxi light is on. We'll go hold short of Yankee 4. Okay. No aircraft that way, no one that way. Alright. And we have information kilo. Yeah, Midway Tower, Citation, uh, 1 Sierra Whiskey, Olden Shirt, uh, Yankee 4, Information Kilo, ready for taxi. Oh, no. Citation 1 Sierra Whiskey, Midway Tower, runway 4 right, taxi via Yankee. 4 right via Yankee, 1 Sierra Whiskey. Bruh, I hate the whole thing that changed when they brought the avionics update. I think it was when they did that, is how your, uh, like, your left, sc left screen where it shows a preview of look what you're looking at out front, it's like the camera's on the ground. I don't like that. <clears throat> you got nasty wind landing over there, it pulled it off, nice. Okay. Oh, the better okay. question is how many airframes were bent down in, uh, in Hawaii? <laughs> Also dumb enough to do okay, H for the FMO to move. Wind zero eight zero at eight. Turn right heading one three zero. Runway four right clear to four takeoff. Yeah, right to one three zero. Runway four right clear for takeoff. Station one zero whiskey. Yellow be about no takeoff, that's good. Only heard me and one up. Oh, there's a bump on the runway. Contact Chicago Approach 119.0 connect. Alright, 130 contact uh, departure uh, number 10 whiskey. Chicago departure citation, Dree 401 Sierra Whiskey off Midway, 3000 heading 140. That was 341 Sierra Whiskey, Chicago departure, right of contact, climb and maintain 12000, proceed direct earn. Yeah, climb 12000, direct earn, uh, station 1 Sierra Whiskey. I realized it was supposed to be 130. My fault. It was not Tower's fault, that was my fault. Alright, so we have that direct earned. Oh 
Activate nav. South of 3069, descend and maintain 4,000. Down to 4,000, 3069. Oh no, he's gone. Jefferson just left. Oh, that sucks. Station 10 Whiskey, contact Chicago Center 120.35, good night. One two zero point three five citation one zero whiskey. In Chicago Center citation three four one zero whiskey. Uh, one zero five climbing one two thousand direct earn. Three four one zero whiskey Chicago Center climbing maintain level four. One zero zero normal speed. I'm four one zero normal speed station one zero whiskey. It takes forever to scroll it up. Uh, Twenty nine ten Kansas City Center is offline. Radar service terminated. Change your visor frequency approved. Have a good night. Change your badger approved. Uh, you know, you're trying to end up, yeah. Four one. It doesn't want to do the hundreds there. I mean, I'm sure I could, I just can't see the button right now. I'm just gonna pretend this is my normal speed. So I can climb really fast. Actually, I can, I can put the route in here. We're going Never midway. Cross Haley at a maintain six Earned. Cross Haley at a maintain six thousand. Wet. Juliet. Sixty four. Fallmouth, I think that is. Brian. Dot. Dublin 1. Uh, 2251 contact Chicago approach 119 point zero. Good night. Yeah, you got CMH. 2251 contact approach 119 small zero. Thanks. Bye bye. Something I should do is center the heading bug, which I need this. Oh, that doesn't even help that much. Floodlight a little brighter helps. APU is on, we can turn that off. Bro, it's crazy how fast I got out of midway. I'm only 17 miles from midway and I'm at I'm up in the flight right levels now. 1897, Chicago Center, Squawk 1375. Just through the clouds already. I'm going up and cruising. You know, I should have checked the weather. Even though I know it's probably going to be a tailwind, which is a bonus. We'll hit the refresh button. United 1897, are you received capable? Oof. Squawk one, three, seven, five. Oh, well, actually, it's a slight headwind because of all the crazy weather down here in the south central U.S. Or I guess southeastern, too. Normally, that'd be a tailwind. But it's just average winds. Some crazy stuff going on. United 1897 radar contact, uh, three zero miles east of the Waterloo VOR. Hmm. Well, 
Well, now we just kind of get to sit back and relax for a little bit. Which is good after the whole stressful arrival in the midway. I guess I could kind of resume a bit more of a normal speed. About 280 or so. American 2902, Chicago Center, climb and maintain level 310, resume normal. Speed. Really, if I wanted to burn fuel, I'd turn off auto throttle and just go full throttle. Instead of a climb, a climb rating. Also, what sucks, Indy Center's offline. Let's go look at some screenshots that some uh, other people had for the fly-in. Chicago Center, King Air, November 405, Delta Yankee, 3500. King Air, 405, Delta Yankee, Chicago Center. Yes, sir, if I've got the Yankee request, uh, should the RNAV and report, RNAV 2, uh, boom, please. Uh, I don't know where, it, oh, he's landing intercontinental. I understand the RNAV I think. at, uh, report. Okay, for, for five dollars Yankee. Got everyone inbound Rock to O'Hare, or to Midway. Endeavor 3306, contact, uh, Chicago, approach 119.0. Last minute out of Charlotte, apparently. I see nothing, Endeavor 3306, over the first thing, okay. Flexjet 561, Cleveland Center is offline, radar service terminated, change your advisor frequency approved, good night. Radar advisor, Flexjet 561. Oh, bro, I forgot the, uh, 1496. I didn't realize how bad his, his symbol, <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I didn't realize he had the resolution crank so low. You can see those pixels. I mean, then again, I had it somewhat bad before I got the newer CPU. The CPU was the real limiting factor for me. But you know, at least he can get up there and fly his Delta stuff. Yankee, cross Boone at 2,300, clear the RDAV, GPS runway two. Boone, 2,300, clear the RNAV, runway two, at the port, my truck Yankee. That's pretty cool. Up, I might need to switch to uh, Mach number. Go ahead and do that. We'll, we'll go up at 0.82. descend via the Fight 7 arrival, the O'Hare altimeter 29 or 9 or 7. Can we really see much outside? Not really, because it's nighttime now. What I can do is come up top, turn on the wings, winging spect, and tail floodlights. You guys can kind of see some stuff now, at least in terms of the plane. Flexjet 341, we need to level off at 370. We're too heavy to make four with 30 right now. <laughs> Flexjet 341, um, Chicago Center, Roger. Yeah, you can you can level off level. Said 390. 370. Yeah, Flexjet 341, climb and maintain level 370. Didn't mean descend. 370, Flexjet 341. I think he meant descend because the guy's already higher up. for 15,000. I uh, guess he just needs to burn some fuel. Zappa 339, Chicago Center. I maintain level 350, leaving 11,000 through normal speed. All right, 350 and uh, normal speed out of 11,000, Zappa 339. 
Okay, now 10, we're 30, over 7. wet. Uh, Cleveland Center is offline. Radar service terminated. Change to advisory frequency approved. Good night. You know, really, I probably should have stayed oh, on this airway. Good night, sir. Good night, 1047. See you. Actually, no, there is no way for me to stay on the airway. Chicago Center United 2430. Because heavy. Brian is right there. 4, 5, yeah, hmm. 2430 heavy, Chicago Center. Climb and maintain bubble tree 60. Resume normal speed. Resume normal speed and climb and maintain flight level 360. United 2430 heavy. Wait, what time is it? It's old, it's still about 10 o'clock and there's still a tiny bit of sunlight? Dang. I mean, I guess that's what the summer does in uh, the Northern Hemisphere. And we're about a thousand and a half feet from top, top of climb. That's good. Hope they don't slam me down to uh, go into Columbus though. Let's see here. If I bring up the SOPs that I have for ZID, they probably list what Chicago is supposed to do. Or the LOAs, I mean. Ah, that's so bright. What the heck? Oh no, it actually... No, wait. Arriving date nor any of those... I didn't say anything about Columbus. Okay. Hmm. So they just kind of send me wherever, I guess. Although if they're going to Dayton, they give them at or below flight level 270. I'm surprised they don't have something for Columbus, like at or below, you know, 37 or something like that. Because, I mean, it's not too much further. Or actually, no, that's like 70 miles, isn't it? Actually, yeah, that's probably fine. <laughs> right, I should probably zoom out the map. Which they changed the the knob that you do that with now. Ever since the avionics update, it used to be this knob, but now it's this one. I don't know. We'll just get a look outside as the sun goes down out there. Three forty one Cleveland Center is offline. Radar service terminated. Frequency change to advisory approved. Good night. Pretty soon to prove you have a good night flex at 341, thanks. Chicago Center, Pop Club 636, so it is climbing 900,600 for 12. Pop Club 686, Chicago Center, climb and maintain, level 1 and 6 is 0, resume normal speed. Maintain 16,000 in normal speed, pop up 686. I'm just, I'm just kind of waiting for him to send me off. I think that'll be somewhere around the Fort Wayne VOR. Which will be coming up to uh, here in a little bit. Because I think just after that is basically CID's airspace. Yeah, right there's the border. Although, they don't say at what flight level or what altitude that border is at. Because Airport airspace Delta is Yankee, no 3D space. You in the Laporte Airport. Advised cancellation by far on this frequency. You're on the ground. Change your advisory frequency approved. Well, Flag up Yankee is established on your nav. Go to site and we'll go ahead and uh, cancel flight plan at this time. Flag up Yankee. November 405 Delta Yankee, IFR cancellation received. Have a great night. Change to advisory frequency is approved. I, I didn't realize how long this fly would be. I still have another 150 miles. But I mean, at this ground speed, that's like 30 minutes maybe at the most. 
Oh, apparently I'm past my top of the sand. Whoops. We'll just have to book it down to 230, Brian. Discover Center on number one zero whiskey top of descent. <laughs> Even though we're way past that. <laughs> November three four one zero whiskey cross uh, Brian at and maintain level two tree zero. Cross Brian at and maintain for level two a tree a zero November one zero whiskey. Why am I? Turn the knob like that. When I could do it this way. This one will be a tough one to cross, but we'll do it. Currently, we need almost 4,000 feet a minute. Apparently, 3 8 will work. Approximately. Can even lower the uh, Mach number a little bit. Yeah, the, thr the auto throttle here is a little, a little aggressive on how much throttle it's given. So I'm having to sit here and play with the... The, um, what do you call it? The speed break a little bit. Number 5, 112, Victor Lima, Chicago Center, Roger David. Good evening. Yeah, I'll need a tiny bit of speed break in for this whole descent. Actually, I can reduce the vertical speed a little bit. Just don't want to do it too crazily. Actually, no, we'll, we'll leave it at 38 on the descent there. so dark out there probably mostly because the clouds and I think the plane yeah it's still got tint on the windows there was a mod that removed it I gotta I gotta see if that one still exists and if it still works So it was 230, wasn't it? Let me look at the chart here. Yeah, 23. <clears throat> Which for me personally is a little little um little low, but I guess that's because of arrivals into like Cleveland or something like that. Actually probably is. Or even departures off of Detroit. You know, two big airports right there. You know, once you get these fast-moving aircraft, these airports are really close together. What happened to my thing? Hmm. Not highlighting the stuff anymore. Number three four one zero whiskey, uh, Cleveland uh, Center. Correction, Indy Center is offline. Radar service terminated. Let's see. Advisor frequency approved. Have a good night. We're doing advisory, uh, one zero whiskey. Yeah, one, two, two, point eight. Actually, why am I using the scroll wheel thing when I can type it? So since he said that, once I get to two, three, zero, then I can hit, I should be able to hit VNAV after I change the altitude. 
I should also sink my heading bug. Up and we're almost over speeding. I think I still need a tiny bit of speed break. Nothing too crazy, though. Alright, now we're basically over Brian. At 230. The next restriction is... Looks like 7,000. Or no, that's, I'm looking at the wrong thing. It's 5,000. VNAV down to five. Nope, doesn't seem to have worked. <sighs> I'll have to manually drop her down a bit. A bit more than what the uh, current vertical speed needs for it to catch up to that. I also need to lower down this, the altitude to. 5,000. And it should capture this once I get to it. Come on, capture it. Do it. There it goes. Alright, so we have that. We're descending via... And let's see, I'll need to plug in the ILS. I mean, I don't need to necessarily, but it's a good idea. To 10 right. Uh, Appleton or Pathé? A good question. Where exactly is a Pathé in relation to all this? Yeah, that wouldn't work. Well, it's just vectors. The minimums are 200 feet by the radio altimeter. Frequency 11175. Yep, that's right. It's apparently 82 degrees out right now, but it was so hot during the day it feels comfortable right now. What it like in Kentucky? Uh, I'd have to look it up in a second. We hit load there, didn't mess up the FMC, that's good. Yeah, we're good. And Grumpy Gordo, thanks for the follow, bro. Let's see here, in Kentuckyville, what we got? Well, according to Meteo Blue, it's 70 degrees Fahrenheit right now. Uh, can I get like an hourly or something on here? No? Alright, we'll just look up the local weather station then. Oh, that's not... <laughs> I put an E on the end somehow. It's hotter up north here? Maybe. How do you like the longitude? Bro, it's one of my favorite planes and I just got it working again because one of my add-ons were, were outdated. So I had to figure out which one it was. <laughs> Turns out it was the one that, that does the lighting mod that I, that I do for a lot of planes. Alright, let's see here. Weather. Apparently 68 according to them. 20 Celsius. The pressure is... Really low. Is that what the airport's reporting? Two nine or nine or three is what the airport's reporting. How, where the hell did they get that from? That's crazy. Apparently, moon rises in two minutes. 
2.59. Oh, here we got the hourly. Gets down to like 66, 65 even. 20% chance of rain. Something I gotta look at is Sunday. Sunday, very warm, thunderstorms late. That could end up being a problem. Because my brother's birthday party is then. <laughs> so we'll, we'll have to keep track of this. I don't know, I hit, did I hit Saturday? No, I didn't. Sunday. There's even this weekend. All the same stuff there. And even look at their radar here, which is probably going to be pretty similar to Media Blue. Let me check on the plane real quick, and we're good. I'm going to slow it down a little bit, though. So I don't bust the 250 below 10. Actually, I need to set the altimeter, which is over at Columbus. Two nine or nine or five. There we go, nine or five. And then back to here. I should be able to hit play and it does the whole thing. Oh, there it is. Oh, so this only shows the last like five hours. That's a little disappointing. Well, anyways, that's 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 with the weather in my area of, of the world. Probably stopped the mud or slowed my descent a little too early, actually. Yeah, whatever. It works. Something I will do is come down here. Performance. Landing data. Ten right. Load that. We've got flaps full. All the stuff. Except speed. There we go. Our V ref is one seventeen. Sadly, no ATC, though. I don't even know if I'm going to do the radio callouts because there's no one else here. At least on VATSIM. So we have, let's see, is it 12,000? No, no, my math is wrong. 8,000 feet to go. And then after that, we'll descend pretty quick down to the ILS. Which actually, I can pull up all the stuff here for Columbus. Over on the tablet up there. We're going 10 right. Okay, here. And then I can make sure I have 11175 over here. Yep, 11175, it automatically put it in. And I'll hit the OBS thing. Why did it stop? Oh, apparently it wasn't even following the vertical path. That's dumb. The nav is on. It's just way off for some reason. According to the METAR in Minneapolis and Sky Vector, it's 84 up there. The south is supposed to be hotter. Yeah, generally. You know what? Since we have time to descend, I'm just going to speed her up. Get there sooner. We're still above 10,000 feet. I don't know why the plane started to descend so fast like that. Okay. 
Ooh. There's a new version of the... Um, the Spitfire that just came out. Now, because this also includes, like, links that are cut that are just for me, I'll have to copy the information out of it. Out of the email. And just paste it here in, in Notepad. Alright, so we have yet another update to the Spitfire sounds as well as a fix for the prop strike bug. The sound added additional high RPM engine sound to all engine tracks. Remade and retuned engine patch curves and transitions to better represent RPM range. Cockpit engine sounds improved, stereo mix restored, samples improved, canopy muffling tweaked to be more like previous versions. Minor reverb tweaks, added rain sound cockpit muffling, that's kind of cool actually. Exterior sounds, such as other aircraft, now correctly muffled when canopy closed. That's a pretty cool one. Update AI slash multiplayer sounds with latest engine sounds, that's good. And fixed prop strike bug, which I think that's the prop strike bug. I'm not exactly sure what they mean. It could be that you hit your prop and then it makes it so you can't use your engine anymore. And maybe there's a way to fix it now or something. I don't know. And updated canopy to interactive points. I don't know what that means. Anyways, update to the Spitfire. Yay. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and download it before I forget. You guys can't see it, right? No, you can't. All right, now that we're finally getting close to 10,000, I'll go ahead and slow it to 250. I've got like 30 seconds to slow down here. I'm more partial to the FW190 than the Spitfire. I really haven't tried many other ones, but bro, the company that makes the Spitfire, they have put a crap ton of effort into it. Like almost PMDG levels of effort into it. Except they're, they're probably a smaller team than PMDG. So they can't just put as much effort into it. Oh, real life. Okay. And bro, what's kind of crazy is I got the Spitfire for free from a giveaway that a bunch of streamers did a few years ago. I was one of probably nine people total that won it for free. And it's been like a great plane to fly. Are there any speed restrictions on this arrival? That's probably a thing to consider. We have... It's just 210 once I get down to the... The 5000 or whatever. Wait, can I already see the runway out there? Or an runway? A runway? I don't know what airport that is. Also got some weather. I mean, it's possible that's Columbus, but it's more likely it's uh, whatever that is. DLZ. Also, is that OSC right there? We might be passing almost right over it. <laughs> It'd be pretty cool if we're able to see OSU. Alright, what's the heading we fly after this? Or it's a track, technically. It is... 189? I mean, if it was a heading, it'd be 189. Yeah. 
So Ohio State will be a beam that once we get to the last waypoint on this whole little arrival. Alright, now that we're turning this way, we'll go ahead and just slow down to 210. I think Ohio State's covered by clouds. That's a little disappointing. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and just descend to the MVA of about 3,000. You know, just get her done early. Oh, we're doing VNAV. Send about 1,500 feet from or just to make sure we can get down, we'll go to 2,000. Except that's not going to work with the auto throttle. Bro, stop dropping frames, no. I hate when the sim does this. It just drops frames. It hates me. Right there should be Ohio State, but it's a uh, little covered in clouds. Oh, and rain. Rain too. Kind of have to do the ILS, we can't even do a visual. those screenshots I'm gonna send those over to um, someone can I just slow the hell down and drop the gear to help myself slow down come over here localizer Apparently Jogma is at 3,300, but I brought it down to 3,000. Whoops. My mistake. Actually, I should be able to start the turn. To uh, 130 should work? Yeah, 130 should work. And then we would technically be cleared for the approach, so we slow to about 180. You know, that's the speed you gotta be at or below in a Charlie. Drop flaps one. Hit uh, nav mode so I don't forget. Or I guess approach mode would be so I don't forget, and that'll be in a second. Once it's established on the localizer. And we don't have the field in sight yet. Yep, nothing. Hit approach mode so I don't forget. Did I hit it? There it is. Had to make sure. Bro, we just have this thick cloud there in front of us. Hey, you're a truck developer. How you doing? Welcome on in. Bro, that thick cloud's gonna be the death of me. Let's see here. 451. I think I already plugged that in. Wait, no, I didn't. Or no, I put the 200. The 200 is legal. Yeah, thanks for the follow, bro. Bro, why is the frames dropping? My, my sim does not like weather. It does it even worse when there's weather. Go down to about 140. 
Should be a good speed. Our approach, because our calculated approach speed is 128. Up oh, there's runway lights, so we can we can technically land it now. Well, maybe I was seeing them. Yeah, they're still there. We still have the lights. As long as we have the lights at 200 feet AGL, we're good to land. Bro, I swear, what's with the FPS? I might just need to turn off the weather, because this, this is crazy. Yeah, I'm turning off the weather. You and all the sound effects. Okay, now it's one FPS. Are you kidding me? Stop doing this. This is all this is almost unflyable now. Even though I turned off the weather and everything. My GPU is not even being it's being like used less than 50%. At least auto throttle is here autopilot is there we should be fine hopefully bro we're fine with traffic no issues We have full flaps, gear is down. Speed brake is ready. My hand is on the, the throttle to disconnect the auto throttle. I'm not doing lose the glasses right now. I'm on like short final, bro. Auto pilot's off. Gotta keep it too white, too red. Auto throttle's off. It's all red, that's not good. At least the FPS seems to have fixed itself. 50. I hope we missed the touchdown zone. By a long margin. And then who needs brakes? Just let the reverse thrust do it all. We'll get off at uh, Charlie 4. Below 30, we'll just turn off all the stuff. Brace, brace. And then we'll taxi in Delta 3, Delta, Delta 5. Nice. That, that wasn't too bad, actually. The meter you and Rob use is messed up. I don't think the G's were that high. No, I think that was fine. Maybe what you have is messed up. You ever thought of that? 
And also, it's highly dependent on your sim's performance. Because, you know, it's got to constantly check your sim to see stuff. So, since I did have low performance on the sim, it could have affected it. Compared to X-Plane 11, it's high? Bro, it's not even that high. 1.1 G is that's not that that crazy. Now we'll go in Delta Four instead of Delta Five here. Actually, normally you turn off the taxi you like getting in the ramp, but. A little early. And you know what? We'll go park this over in a hangar. Since uh, my scenery has one open. Well, two of them, actually. Keep it in low single digits? Yeah, I know. That's if I was being a professional, but like, the sim made it a little hard to do that. Technically, you'd park this outside and use a pushback thing to push in. I mean, we could still do that. Yeah, let's do that. We'll use a pushback tool to push it back into the hangar. That's probably good enough. Parking brake. Off. Off. And then up top. All the stuff is off. Nice. Glass is still on? Yes. I don't need to turn it off. Or I don't need to take them off necessarily. I mean, yeah, you did the whole thing, but... I believe we'll give you back the points there. Alright, let's go do a whole, whole push back here into the hangar. Hopefully the hangar's open enough. Yeah, it's been a long day. We'll see you, bro. Not letting me control the direction. It usually does with the with the dang it. Went the wrong way. Usually lets me use the rudder to control it, but it's not this time. Which kind of sucks. It's pretty cool how some sceneries include this. You just get to go put your plane inside of a hangar. We'll just kind of tuck this back in the corner. Oh, now he attaches. All right. Ooh, that's almost touching the wall, but it's probably about as close as it's going to get. Actually, the tail's sticking through. Oh, no. We'll just stop it there, then. Anyways, we got our plane in. Dang, it's going to be hard for me to get that... Lane aviation in there. Let's do it. 
There you go, got a good old screenshot of it. Anyways, this is the end of the stream. For those of you that haven't already, you should come on over and join our Discord. You can find things like our uh, flying info channel here if you're new to air traffic control or just flying in general. And you can also find the upcoming streams channel. Uh, find things what's coming up here soon on the stream. Like tomorrow, I plan to control somewhere over in Houston. We'll have to see where though, because uh, they're doing their whole live thing tomorrow. And uh, I need to go. I need to go ask. Uh, what's his name? Dean. Where I should control tomorrow? Because he's their event coordinator. He's the guy that would know all the all the spots. <laughs> you know all that stuff. And if you've missed a stream or part of a stream, all the vods can be found over on YouTube. Even some time lapses for air traffic control in streams, like I put one up yesterday. Because, uh... You know, we did, we did ATC at... where was it? Nashville, yesterday. That's pretty cool. Anyways, who should we go raid? You know what? How long... Flying Cookie's only been streaming for 32 minutes. You know, he's someone I used to fly with a bunch back, like, a year or two ago. Why don't we go raid him? So uh, hit the follow button over on Flying Cookies channel, hit the follow button here, and we'll see you guys on the next stream. Have a good night.